Welcome to Salon, Bangkok. I've come here today to get the real story behind the new species of sapphire that has been discovered, known as Gold Sheen Sapphire. This stone was first found in Kenya and has been brought to the market by my good friend Tanzim Han Malik. Let's go inside and see what we can find. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Nice to see you again, Mr. Charles. Let's see some sapphires. Relatively new to the market, Gold Sheen Sapphire is slowly making its mark. Now the sole source of this material, I spoke with Tanzim to get more insight on how he came to work with the stone and what makes it so special. So Tanzim, how long have you been in the gemstone industry for? I have been trading in gemstone for 27 years. It was 2009 when I first discovered Goldsheen Sapphire. I was doing my normal business when I come across few kilos of rather unusual sapphire rough. To me, it looked as if there was a sheen effect unlike anything I had seen before. From here, after sampling and studying the material, I discovered that once cut, the stones produced a completely unique asterism with a gold sheen shimmer. The sapphire was being mined in west of Kenya, close to Somalia border. I knew that this was an incredible opportunity and having dealt with the miners, I found the mining conditions were above average. I tried my best to support them financially in order to build a good relation with the mine owners and their workers. Is the material treated in any way? I have tried to heat the material but I have concluded from my experimentation that this only leads to a diminishing of Golshin effect. I find that this adds to the appeal given that most of the sapphire you see on the market today has been treated in some way. This is one of the most difficult varieties of sapphire I have ever had to work with. It took many years to master the method. The orientation of the stone is very important as is the performing. We took the project on commercially in 2014. In the beginning we were only expecting around a 30% yield from the parcel of rough stones with the remainder of the material being unusable. Now after 8 years we are able to use up to 80% as commercial grade and around 2% as the finest grade. To really see the beauty of stone, cabochon cutting has become our most popular style. However, within the different market we do see demand for other styles. In the US for example, we have a high demand for rose cut stones. With that in mind, we are able to cut to any specification and often produce specialty cuts to our customers. Tanzim was kind enough to allow me into his gem cutting workshop and follow the process in full for the cutting and polishing of gold sheen sapphire. Once the rough has been selected, the stone is first trimmed to a more workable size and shape, with careful observation being made to ensure the correct orientation of the piece. These trimmed pieces are then ground down to a preform of the final shape. Next comes the cutting process as the stones are either cut to the initial facets or to a cabochon. From here comes the polishing stage, where a very fine diamond powder is used to give the stone a beautiful shine and sparkle. Faceted stones will be finished with such a method, going anywhere up to 100,000 grit diamond powder. Cabochon stones, however, will be finished on a soft polishing pad, but with similar fine powders. As you can see, there is a stunning change from the beginning to the end of the cutting process, and none could argue with the stunning results. Uh, I first uh, found out about Goldsheen Sapphire about three years ago. 
I was on a buying trip to Bangkok looking for uh, normal sapphire and I uh, came into Tamsin's shop uh, and noticed the gold sheen sapphire and he kindly spent a few minutes running through it with me and showed me some different samples and I uh, just fell in love with the with the uh, with the gemstone. I think as a uh, as an investment now is a, an excellent time to buy gold sheen sapphire because it's still relatively unknown in the marketplace. The market price has a fair amount of variation but you can get extremely good pricing for high quality stone that just wouldn't be available if you were buying other forms of corundum like normal sapphire or ruby. The thorough examination by many of the world's leading laboratories and academic institutions such as the Gemological Institute of America and the Gemological Association of Great Britain, gold gene sapphire has been officially recognised as a new species of sapphire. There is a promising future for this new stone and we wait with eager anticipation as more of this beautiful gem material starts to hit the market. Who knows what the future holds for the ever-alluring gold sheen sapphire.